DC, what up? Northeast, what up? East Coast, what up? We international, Ryan. Women. Women. Okay. And by women, I mean you was born with a Sure, okay. Vagina. That's, that's, I ain't gonna hold you. That's how the fuck I lay. And that's it. I don't do with this whole world shit. Yeah, I'm gonna man. keep it straight. And that's not you, no disrespect. Yeah, for I, sure, for sure. Look, one of the 15 letters in that acronym, I'm sure y'all got. So you don't need women, right? So for the women, listen, they got LGBTQ, URS, TUV. And I know you got a D, brother. Somewhere in there, you got a letter, nigga, so you don't need the woman. But I still say the F word. I still say it to this I day. I say all the time certain things is f but that don't yeah, okay, mean I'm we'll say about, less. But I'm not necessarily. I'm not I, talking about dis- gay. But I, I say do, but I do. If a nigga's gay, I'd be like, oh, that nigga's a and, and at the end of the day, yeah. I don't. That's just what it is. You gotta say. I think that's a little. And that's I say both. Cause at the end of the day, I type it on Instagram. I'd be like, I could say you could do. You could eat a glizzy, yeah. and I post you and say, this nigga Floyd. A f-. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Instagram gonna take my shit down. They definitely and are. I, and I'm. And I'm but like, you can say, but watch this. They not gonna take it down for you saying this nigga. Yeah, for sure. And that's my point. That's my point. Why? Prime example, Dwayne Wade's daughter. He, I call him Dwayne Wade's son. I don't call him a girl. I don't call him her. I don't do none of that because at the end of the day, he's still a little boy. At the end right. of the day, okay, if he wants to be identified as a woman, cool. And I even had to, I had to, I had to deal with some shit like this as a parent. What you mean? My daughter. DC, what up? Northeast, what up? Shit, East Coast, what up? We international, Ryan. <laughs> All the way in Maui, they listening to us. Uh, before we get started, want to definitely do a moment of silence for our uh, over 100 lives lost in the wildfires over there in Maui. And uh, all over the world, anybody who's dealing with anything, man, I hope we able to give you something, uh, a little light to, to, to brighten up your day. Uh, this is Hot Thoughts with D. Floyd, live from the WEG Studios. To my left, man, uh, before, we, before we go any further, hold on. Moment of silence. I was about to say, did you do that first? I didn't do it. Okay. I'm burnt see. out. <coughs> Shout out to Mo. We're going to spark one up for Maui. We start now. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm going to get a moment of silence. That's fucked up, man. How you fucked the moment of silence up, you know? I fucked the moment of silence up. Yeah. You fucked the moment of silence up, bro. You definitely fucked the moment of silence up. I fucked it up because you said- Is it wrong said, to spark up first, to a wildfire you dedication? Said, yeah, you know, let's get in my mans and them, you know. It's hey, I got up. my man. Hold on, I forgot. Well, cause I wanted, <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to shout out our sponsors, shout out our sponsors. Yeah. Uh, Tri-State Tricombs, High Thoughts Cannabis Company. Uh, today they got us smoking on some shit, uh, Pink Runts. Okay. Oh man, it's amazing. Well, we ain't really figured it out yet. We're gonna see by the end of the show how we feel. Okay, yeah. Uh, but it's supposed to be like a hybrid sativa. Anyway, so, when I'm sparking it, I'm like, oh shit, I was supposed to say the sponsors. Yeah. But now I'm sparking up trees talking about wildfires. This shit fucked up all around. Yeah. I I, I didn't want to take it there, it's but dead. you brought it there, I so I was going to, yeah, I, I was going to be chill and let you yeah, spark your little J. I we on hot thoughts today, baby. Yeah. I might smoke today. I ain't going to hold you. But you know what? I, I, I feel like, listen, man, I feel like my heart is in the right place. The intention's in the right place, and um, and I don't and I don't say that shit lightly. You know, yeah. The fact that we lost a lot of people uh, over there, we don't really. Th- Maui's in Hawaii, right? That's what I was. Th- I think so. I never been. Yeah, me neither. I ain't never been to Hawaii either. That's but seven hundred dollars. I don't think. Yeah, I know. And we don't look at like Maui and the, we don't look at these places like they um. We don't really look at them like it's really America. I, like, you know what I mean? Maybe it's because it's an island or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we ain't that close to it either. We ain't. Even we, was on, we was in Cali or some shit. Then we would, you know, yeah. we were treated like Miami. We go to yeah. Miami so much because Miami right there. We ain't we not close to Hawaii. If, we got to fly to Cali to go to Hawaii. That's real. That's real. If you listen in there, uh, and all the people in the audience who over talking, if you listen in there, uh, or if you watching on video, uh, right to right to the left of me is a, is my esteemed guest for the evening, man. Uh, the one and only DJ Mitri Two Times. How hey, you I was going to introduce myself because he was we didn't been on here for five minutes and he didn't say my name yet. That's because we family, home. Nah, now we you, family. Now so, 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 man, listen, you might have seen us already politicking a billion times on his podcast. We say they say podcast. 
Um, how you feeling, Hop? I'm cool, man. Good Wednesday. You know, like I said, I'm on high thought. Hey, 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 don't time stamp this. Who knows when it's coming out fucking with Ryan? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> but guess what? It's going to be Wednesday next week. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be Wednesday the week after that. It's going to be Wednesday the week after that. Ain't nobody going to motherfucking know. It's, it's, it's Wednesday tomorrow, nigga. Fuck that. Shit, it might be fucking with me. You know, because, listen, the podcast game has changed. And I want to say this publicly. When a lot of people left me uh, dead in the water, it was a few podcasts, and we say they say it was definitely one of them that stepped up and came through for me and gave a nigga a life. Rap said, "Floyd, come on through, fuck with us." I appreciate you for that. I really, nah, I really do. You, 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 my man. You good people. At the end of the day, you know, when you come on my shit, you talk your shit. Facts. I had to, you Facts. know, you, you was getting mad because I kept bring you on the. Y'all had me up I there for the Malcolm X shit. Hey, but that's what you be talking about, Mike Brown and uh. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, I got to get drunk and talk about. A black nigga dying hey, every time I come on your but show? Because you know how much Talk about dig, Black Lives Matter, brother. You dig into the <laughs> details like that niggas don't even, you you kind of woke. You, I consider you a woke nigga. So you be waking the I'm people conscious. up. So I be, I be needing that on, I be needing that energy. So, but like I said, we switched it up now. The last show you was on, you was talking about some- a Little ratchet. Some, exactly, some ratchet shit. But and I, now on, you, you my ratchet guest. When I nah, nah, I love, I love the balance. I think nah, we all man. a little, ba it's about ba righteous and ra ratchets, right? Righteous nah, you right, ratchet. for sure, for sure. How did you get into the podcast game? I know, okay, so look, you, it's, you, you multifaceted, right? You're a DJ, a very successful DJ. How many nights a week you DJing, you spend? Uh, guaranteed three to four. Three to four nights a week. I don't really try to DJ too much on the weekdays because my kids got practice and shit like that. I be trying I to be, that. Nah, I was about to say I be trying to be a dad. I'm a whole father. Yeah. But nah, for real, like I, I try to keep it strictly weekends. Thursday's not really a weekend, but that's a turn up night. I try to keep it Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And DC Thursday is the beginning of the weekend. Fact. That's a fact. For sure. So that's why I got to entertain the Thursdays because I'll be throwing away too much money if I don't step out on a Thursday. What was you doing first, the podcast or the DJ? So I was doing the podcast first. Podcast was 2019, but it was kind of like at the same time, but the podcast touched the air before the DJ shit. I was already in the house practicing this shit in 2019, but I ain't really like announce it to yeah. 2020. And it just like blew me because the pandemic happened and I'm like, damn, I look like a pan. I look like one of them niggas that's sitting yeah, in the house. Yeah. I'm a fucking pandemic DJ, but it wasn't that. Like we was, I was on a flyer for 2020 going from 2019 going into 2020, yeah. but I was on the ox because I wasn't really ready. Yeah, My man was yeah. like, man, I'm having Play a New Year's DJ. party, man. Come get the music. I'm like, man, I got the music on the phone. I ain't ready to do that Spotify DJ. Yet. But yeah, so it was, <laughs> the podcast dropped first because it dropped September 2019 and then I ain't really announced DJing for real until like March, April. 2020. Was you already in that world? What did, I mean, what was it that brought you first into podcasting uh -huh. and then, then ultimately DJ? DJing is a little bit easier to understand. Like you said, it's COVID. Everybody trying to figure something out. Even if it's just your love for the music, you yeah. in there fucking around, trying something with a hobby. Mm -hmm. The photography and the videography, for me, it never was a, okay, I'm trying to get on, so let me do this. Right. Right? It was a hobby. It was some way of me show my love for people I care about. And I'm going to show it with the camera. And, right, right, right. You know what I mean? And I did get that from Malcolm X. Nah, you definitely. I be saying, you know, <laughs> I'm like, damn, this nigga Floyd the photography job, like, fucking him up. Damn. Yeah. I be like, nah, I didn't call this nigga. But nah, yeah. so the podcast job, like, I ain't even going to hold you. That Shout was the dream picks. Yeah, for sure. That was my man, uh, Brody, I did. Um, he the one that came up with the whole concept. We, we always chilling in my house in the basement. And we always having conversations like this. And it's like, man, you know what, man? Let's start a pod. But one, like, I ain't think he was really serious. Right. So when he one day called me, it's like, man, let's shoot an episode tonight. And I'm like, all right. Yes. And we did it. And then the the love we got from that joint, it made me fall in love with it. Yeah. And I kind of like had to keep it going. You know, Brody don't be, he, you know, I have him on the show every little now and then. Cause he kind of got other obligations he got to uphold. Yeah. So he's not on the show as much as he used to be. I mean, he don't even really, he just come when he came. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Facts. So he kind of left it in my hands and I just took over and kept the shit moving. Because like I said, you you threw the idea out. I fell in love with it. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. But as far as like DJing, like the pro I've been DJing my whole life not knowing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, as far as like when I was in like high school, I used to make mixtapes. Yeah. Like, I basically would take like okay. the top songs, put them all on one CD. So when I'm driving in my car, I got the the best songs playing back to back to back. And this then, you for know, the bitch, this is what I used to. I mean, I had one of them. I had, I had one of them too. I had a jump. I had a, I ain't gonna hold you. I had a, yeah, I had a CD called Chill. Chill. I had a CD called Chill Shit. Oh, Tamika getting it. Yeah, I had yeah. all mad. That jump came on. First song, <laughs> first song was Cupid. Yeah, oh, I shit. I tell you. So like, my first joke used to be like in them jeans. I wanted to get it. Oh yeah, so real you got quick. straight to it. You talking?
talk about with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was playing TP2. It, Hit it hard from the back. Yeah, see, I try to slow because. you in. I try to make you feel like I like you first before we even got there. So mm -mm. I, I want I you to know. You. I mean, I ain't mad at you. <laughs> no. Different times. No but nah, like, it was crazy because, I, like I said, I've been doing this shit my whole life, and I ain't even realized I was doing it because I was DJing a wedding, and then my man came to me childhood friend, he was like, man, I remember you used to make mixtapes, bro. I'm like, damn, you, I did. Like, I used to go on the radio and whatever song was playing, I hit record on yeah, the tape. Yeah. And of course it was sloppy as shit because it was on the tape, but I was like, Making but, ready but I, like, as far as the bangers, because I just love the, the hot songs. And I like, I know how to keep the crowd moving. I know how to keep niggas yeah. engaged. And I always shout out my man Ron for this shit because one day I was on the ox at a party at a kickback, yeah. and he was like, man, he partying. He like, man, I feel like you missed your calling. Yeah. And I was like 30, and I was like, <laughs> you know what, nigga? It ain't never too late. Never too and late. And I never died, too like, late. Like I said, 2019, I bought my board. Yeah. Started mixing up shit in the it, basement, and it went. The if, we if we lucky, we live 100 lives. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. If we lucky, we live 100 lives. Let me ask you, if you had to really think back about it, mm -hmm. who in your life inspired you through music? Like, who was it? Was it an aunt? Was it a fan? Like, who was it? A friend who had that vicious record collection downstairs? Yeah. Or I don't know. I think it was just more so like just me watching TV. I was real. I was an outside ass kid. But when it when 10, 11 o'clock came, we had to come to the house. I used to watch the box. Yeah, yeah. Like I ain't channel you know, nineteen. Yeah, B. I, I used to watch channel nineteen B. That's crazy <laughs> shit. Exactly what for, it was. For MT, the whole the MTV <laughs> was eighteen B, seventeen. Yeah, B yeah you know something. I remember that shit. But yeah, so I used to go. I used to literally go in the house and just watch the box. Like, Facts. and you know, niggas used to dial in, call the number for the yeah. song, and I used to be like, oh, I know that number. I know my usher, my way about to come on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like, I kind of like, I, it was more so just me, like. My mother had a couple little, she had a whole little sound system in the house, but she had that Dr. Dre Chronic album good on the mix. tape. That's a good And mix. that was my first little, like, when I had my little Walkman joint, yeah. I used to walk around with that joint, and then I used to have a Michael Jackson little, uh, I don't know what the Mike fuck it was Mike the Greatest. It, it, you know, to me, I always felt like, I would always credit my, my wide or vast range of music to the box and and you and T R L like yeah, yeah, yeah. because if you wanted to see Lil Wayne and the Hot Boys, you had to watch Justin Timberlake and NSYNC. Yeah, for sure. You for had to watch sure. the Aerosmith and Limp Bizkit, Horn and Limp. Limp yeah. Because if you want to see, I want a Hot Boy at number one, nigga. You had to watch Britney Spears at number two. Yeah. You had to know about all of this shit. Yeah, for sure. All of us for did. Sure. So like we was like, like you say Limp Biscuit. Uh, I did it all for, <laughs> for the, the nookie. nookie. Yeah, hey, yeah, that's, that's the like first that. song that popped in my head because I remember the like, that joint was on the man. box. Every five minutes, bro. That motherfucker. Yeah. And Merlin Manson. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And then Slim Shady. I mean, but he, you know, he a rapper, so I yeah. was cool. But it was just, just, this. I just, I don't know, bro. I just, this the love of hip hop, bro. I just love hip hop. Love hip -hop. I love R&B. You know what I'm saying? And it, and especially, I'm, a, I was born in '89, so mm -hmm. you, damn, I gave my, I know, right? I said my government on this motherfucker. I was born in, I was born in, a, in a 19, I was born in the 1900s, and motherfucking. Uh, and uh, that shit, motherfucking, like that era, the 90s, yeah. uh, just music was just crazy. Yeah. So I just kind of like fell in love. And then we got in the 2000s with the, the Nellies and the Ludacris's and the Bow Wows and the T.I.'s. And just the culture. It's just, that shit just went crazy. So I, I think I just fell in love with the music just because, bro. Culture, period. Like, when I think about the 90s, yeah, I'm thinking about the music, but I'm thinking about everything. I'm thinking about- oh, the fashion. The fashion. Yeah, for sure. I'm thinking about uh, bad, I'm thinking about Jordan. I'm thinking about Tyson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about Michael Jackson. Speaking of Mike Tyson, look, boxing, you, you a boxer fan? Not as the not as much as the rest of the world, but I tap in though. Yeah, sure. like, it's I know. a lot of good fights coming up. Nah, for sure. I don't wanna speak about it. Yeah, for sure. I, you know which one I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talking about the twin? No, oh, you talking yeah, about the twin? Oh. Yeah, Charlo. Yeah. I, but you know what? Shout out to um oh to fight Canelo. no yeah I know but shout out to what's my man from here somebody somebody say somebody somebody say cuz name her 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 smacked the shit out of him oh yeah yeah because Shiloh disrespected his wife so what was told to me I don't know how true this is okay. but I was told that that video was old it wasn't that old okay because her hit me when, look because I reposted it shout out to Jared her man we gotta get you on here shout out to Jared her nah, for sure. Cause I reposted it. I say, man, anytime a man disrespects somebody white, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we no, ain't I'm, wait till we get I'm, in the ring. First of all, I'm, I'm with him all the way, nigga. All the way. I'm with him all the way. Cause he said sure. something like somebody, get... somebody shoot your wife or yeah, somebody. Yeah, your even wife if he and wasn't, and this, this not even oh, cause yeah. he's from the county. This yeah. just period on man time. I'm yeah. definitely with him all the way. Yeah, but, facts. Yeah, but honestly, so, but I was talking to somebody and they was just like, oh, you know that <laughs> I've been seeing that. So I was like, I'm thinking the shit was new. So I don't know if it was new, if it was old. You know how people do. Yeah, that's why I was asking. I've been seeing that. Yeah, yeah, be faking this shit. 
Yeah, hey, right. shout I, out to Gwen Pop. Shout, shout, that's where he went. <laughs> that's where he went. Oh, um, yeah. I see you just came back in the country. Tell me about uh, you've been doing a lot of traveling, <laughs> right? Now listen, y'all niggas thought it was funny. So on your show, I mentioned it. This is so fucked up. I perfect mentioned timing. on your no perfect time. Perfect I mentioned timing. on your show. Damn, I'm sick of y'all niggas seeing y'all close friends and y'all in DR somewhere with some naked bitches and y'all will never call me or nothing. <laughs> and sure enough, while you outside, man, while y'all with some naked bitches, you post a clip of me talking about how y'all don't invite me with the naked bitches? So I don't know nothing about these naked bitches. Hey, that man, well, listen. To. I don't have a close friend. Yeah, okay. That's somebody close there. Friend. That's fine. It wasn't me. But, um, it was your page posting me crying about how I was. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because I, I, I set it up that way. I knew we was about to go out oh, of town. Oh, you was a dirty I motherfucker, I said, oh, let me make a real with my man Floyd. Oh, so, well, y'all going to be in DR like this. Right, right. Damn, when I got the, you, you lost my number in the mail or what's going on? Nah, you changed your number every On my only hip for Black History Month, huh? God yeah, damn. Yeah, you changed your number every seven months. Well, which bro. one you need for the DR invite? I mean, this, <laughs> hey, first, I, we going to Turks in November. Oh, uh, man. So... Let me ask you a question. When did you start getting into your fa your uh, your traveling bag? Or you always been a traveler? So 2015 was mm -hmm. when I first started, like, you know, leaving Maryland. Other than basketball. You know what I'm saying? As far as, like, I went to Vegas for the first time. Then 2016, I went to Miami for the first time. I felt like I was dying late. For real. Miami. Honestly, yeah, like Miami. How old was you? 2016, Woo! I was 27. That's yeah, you a little yeah, late for Miami. I was, well, I mean, I was 26 when I went, but my birthday, I turned 27 that year. But but, yeah. but you probably wasn't late. You know why? Because a lot of people go to Miami, they broke. Yeah. When they yeah, yo, yeah, I've been to Miami. I've been. Mm -hmm. You had 20 dollars, nigga. You didn't do shit. Yeah. You sat outside on the beach all day and, and, <laughs> and, 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 and harassed women. When you go to Miami with some money in your yeah, pocket, yeah. nigga, that's a different Miami. Nah, nigga. for sure, for sure. That's a yeah. different. But the thing Miami, is, I was nigga. I was still young. To I ain't really. I had money, but I ain't had no money for real. Okay. So like, we I, not knowing no better. We get we got the house right on the motherfucking uh, strip. We right on ocean in one of them little small ass, two hundred square feet room. Spent a thousand dollars for two nights on that motherfucker. Dollars. But it was love because you walk right out front. Yeah, and yeah it was yeah. everywhere, bro. So like I just I just like you said I I got started getting a little bit of money when I got in my late twenties. So I started doing the whole you know. U.S. shit, but yeah. then when I, I always had a little thing, I was like, when I turn 30, I'm going to get a passport. I don't know why. I just had this stupid theory in my head that yeah. when you turn 30, that's when you do romantic shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like out of the country, Turks, uh, uh, fucking Cabo, Aruba, I felt yeah. like that was all like shit you do with your girl. So I was nice. like, at that time in my life, I'm like, when I turn 30, I'm going to have my lady, mm -hmm. and that's when I'm going to get my passport, and I'm going to start doing all that little freaky shit. But, uh, sp sp but You know, you bringing that up, right? Mm-hmm. Let me ask you a question. As a man, have you noticed the difference in what it is to date in your 20s versus your 30s? Yeah, for sure. What's the biggest <laughs> damn, so what's the, what's the biggest difference? So the you? difference to me is that in your 30s, a lot of women, they more so they they rush a lot of shit mm. because they feel like, you know, cuz I'm 30, I don't have that much time. I don't have, a, it's for the women who don't have kids in their 30s. I don't have no kids. I need to hurry up and have a kid before I get too old. Right. Oh, all my friends is getting married. They got married at 29. I'm trying to get married. You know, I want to, I can't be, I'm 33. I don't got no man. There's something wrong. So now I'm in a relationship with some nigga that I really don't want to be in, be in a relationship with because I'm getting old. Or sometimes it's just a situation ship. And motherfucker want to break it up. Like, can you, can't, you can't break up with me. We just was in a situation. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Like, what the, like, that'd be the part. Like, maybe, um, but that's just me being my 30s. It's like, yo, you learn to be like, I enjoyed our time together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, but you, you know that Jay-Z said, our time together is our time together, our time apart. Our time. But when you sure. get older, you like, damn, that make a lot of sense. Yeah. Love Jay with your mind, girl, and now with your heart. <laughs> you know, that's some real shit. Yeah, nah, they just... But that's when you learn when you get older, like, this was cool while it lasted. No, nah, for sure, for sure, for sure. And I guess I've said on my show numerous of times, like, if we kicking it, we kicking it. But if I, we, you know, I ain't yeah. about to just jump in a relationship in my 30s to just be with you. Like, if I get in a relationship in my 30s, my goal is to for you to be my wife. So how do you stop? So, so okay, boom. So say, okay, I'm with you. So it's no in between. I'm, I'm, I'm dating for, for that. So what about the ones you just fucking and you know you just fucking them? Yeah. Or just fucking with them. Uh-huh. But in they head, they is thinking about yeah. the wedding bells and all that shit. They don't know when to leave. They don't know. 
They about to move in with you and all of that shit. Yeah, yeah, but that's up. To, but I, I mean, some I kind of like groceries I, over that motherfucker for the kids. Yeah, but that's it, it all. All they gonna do is what you allow. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna do what you allow. So if I allow her to bring groceries over to my kids, if I allow her to pick my kids up, then I'm creating that narrative that's yeah. false. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like I try to keep it, I try to keep it funky mm -hmm. and keep it a hundred on what I want. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of women at, at in their thirties, they try to keep it funky too. The difference between us and them is that they switch up after a while. You know what I'm saying? They so eventually the go in, they, they say, Oh man, they say, man, look, I don't want nothing from you but the dick. I'm trying to chill. I ain't my I ain't last relationship. I ain't head. got time. All right, cool. So mind you, I might be in love with you, but because you said that, I'm I got it all. I'm, I'm keeping it back. I'ma still be over Shanae in them house kicking it when I'm doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? So, and but, but then they get mad are, when you doing your thing. And it's like, oh, Charlie, we done already established what the fuck. But it was. people don't know that men are very good at compartmentalizing shit. The moment you tell me that's not what it is in my head, mm -hmm. I cut that option off completely. Yeah, for sure. Now I can still fuck with you. But you told me you don't want no kids. I'm not. I'm not fucking with you like that. Okay. You told me you don't. Wah 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 wah. I'm not. You told me oh I was divorced. This and that. So now I'm not even considering that an option. So you, based on what you said. So you've been a uh, thirty some odd man. That's right. You're a man. You want kids? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay. So if you dating a woman with none and they say they don't want none, you automatically putting them in my side that we just gonna kick it. Yeah. Okay. Understood. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Or, I mean, it's, it's so many different scenarios. Uh, I don't, damn, I want to name so many, but people going to see these. But, <laughs> like, he talking about me on this one. But, but. Fuck it. <laughs> no, nah, but it's, Fuck real, it. nah, it's real. No, you know, yeah, I want kids. I want I want to get married. I want all of that shit. But that don't okay. mean I'm desperate to. Yeah, to yeah, have, for sure, yeah. for sure. It's so no I'm not, rush. I'm not rushing it and I'm not running from it. Understood. But the older I get, the more I see little traits in people and say, okay. I can't fuck with this for 50 years. <laughs> like, that's how I'm looking at shit now. Mm -hmm. I can't fuck with this. You don't look, okay, when you wake up, you look funny looking. Okay. Yeah. I can't look at you every mo Sunday morning like this for 50 years. Yeah, yeah, that's why I established. I'm going to cheat. I, yeah, I established that within, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm going to fuck your sister. You, I, <laughs> <laughs> I got to be attracted to you, bro. I got to like you in the morning. Like, I can't wake up next to you That's my rule, yeah, when that sun come through that motherfucker. If you ain't right when the sun hits you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Ain't for no sure. filter that nah, can that's save a you, fact. bitch. That's a fact. I'm the same way. Like I said, I got I to gotta like you in the morning. If I don't like you in the morning, we not going to work forever. Because one thing about me, for sure. Sure, when I date a woman, I want to be attracted to you. Got to. All times. You know Inside and out. Exactly, for sure, for sure. Because that's the narrative. Oh, y'all just want to fuck. First of all, I ain't we trying talk to about, just fuck my wife. But when we talk about generational <laughs> wealth, that. how do you think you get generational? You got to fuck to get generational wealth. For sure. We have to fuck and fuck with each other. Yeah. It can't just be a body thing. It got to be a mental thing, physical, spiritual, all that shit. They think niggas don't. Look, this was going on. You can't buy a bit. Kiki Palmer. <laughs> you been you been paying attention with this shit? Yeah, I seen it. But look what they got going on now, though. She done went super far. You see, she got Usher. She an Usher video. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she, yeah and Usher. So, he, yeah, you know. Your boyfriend mad at me. Fuck that nigga. That's what he, he oh, said. Usher he said, responded to this shit? He said some shit like on the video. So you know Usher say some old smooth sound and shit. That's some new song? It's a new joke. Oh, shit, and the video coming out this week. Okay, I wasn't hit. It's called Boyfriend. It's called Boyfriend. Oh, shit. Now, this shit wicked. <laughs> Do you think this should be all entertainment games and like, cause sometimes it do, it'd be like yeah. setups, like, you know, I don't know how many people really throw a little Dirk at uh, Dage Loaf was messing with each other, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, like, right. come on, man. Yeah, I don't know, like, I ain't I ain't a celebrity, so I don't know about that that separate world, but I do feel like a lot of that shit is just- Smoking mirrors. Know, yeah, exactly, they just doing it just because, you know, I be like, they don't really love each other, because look, first of all, let's pay attention to how many of them relationships don't, don't even last a month yeah. or too long, you know what I'm saying? Some of them motherfuckers get married. What the fuck, Kim K got married to fucking uh, Christopher Humphreys- Like a week. In like a week, like, come on, bro. But like, do, you, do you think, okay, that whole situation, do you think, who was wrong, was Kiki wrong for Letting Usher rub on her ass in front of the whole uh, Caesar's Palace. <laughs> he, I, did he, did he rub on Usher, her butt? He ain't rubbing her butt. He did enough, nigga. That nigga did the. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, Usher, I told you, nigga, I will steal you. I will take your bitch. All right. Don't leave your girl around me. He told you that in 97, nigga. So this some, this some man time type shit. Okay. So if I got a girl, number one, I understood where he was coming from as far as what she had on. Me personally. You ain't see her leave the house? Exactly. That's okay, why I'm going to get, right, get, right, get shit. Up, so, yeah, so, like, so, again. I'm going to tell you. 
<laughs> I understand what he was saying about what she had on. Because me personally, I don't want my woman to dress like that. Either. Okay. But at the end of the day, Thongs. when you that invested, first of all, y'all they got a kid together and some more shit. Fact. How does she not know your dress code? Mm. And I'm not saying I'm I'm giving my woman an order. Nah, you know but it's what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's a respect thing. At the end of the day, you don't want me walking around because if I'm in the gym every day and I'm taking care of my shit and I'm all six packed up, you don't want me walking around on Instagram with no shirt on every motherfucker. Dick day. print all in the yeah, bitch. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, you know, you're gonna have a problem. Yeah, so as you know, out of respect for my woman, you know, I'm gonna kinda, you know, I'm gonna pay that attention and right. I respect the same in return. Right. right. So I'm not I'm we not, represent each other. Exactly. So I've never been a fan of the whole thong ass out shit ever. You know what I'm saying? Like granted. You know, we out of town together, and my girl got a thong joint on, and I'm with her, cool. But all that, you posting on the ground with your ass out, I never was a fan with that. Right. So I completely understand right. that. But my thing is, why was that not already established before she walked out the house? Facts. So therefore, because she walked out the house like that, that means you've been dating this woman for that long, and she don't even know what your dress code is. So therefore, that's your fault for What even if they been stuck? Because the way he moving... She must not know, and she must not respect it or exactly. give a fuck either. But that's my thing. So why are you with a woman that She's not no little girl. She a grown woman. Oh, for sure. Why are you with her if she don't respect your dress code? Cause some Because that same nigga had her on Instagram a week before twerking in the bathroom. Mm. So you got to pick and choose which one. See, it's, sure. it's never about, it was never about the outfit. Yeah. It was about fucking Usher. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? That's what for the fuck. Sure. This nigga sweaty all on top of your bitch <laughs> and every, the whole world watching it. That's what it's about. It was, hey, it was not about her outfit, because like you say, if that was the issue, that would have been a conversation already, and it wasn't. It wasn't. But you know, in my opinion, look, you just got to know, okay, look, you she did something you're not a fan of, right? You feel disrespected, you feel violated, <laughs> right? Right. But you got to know when to leave. I think that's the number one. That's why you got people that be beating up on their girlfriends, putting their hands on women, Right? Losing their fucking mind because a lot of these niggas is broke. They don't got nowhere to go. They don't got no car. They driving her fucking car. <laughs> they don't fact. got no house. They in her fucking house. So when she say you small dick, little nigga, you broke, where the fuck is this nigga going to go? Yeah. You could call me whatever you want. Bitch ass nigga. Uh, nah, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my keys. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go get in my car, bitch. And I'm going to my motherfucking house. And I'm going to go on my rooftop, have a drink, have a smoke. Right. You know what I mean? And that's what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm not sitting in your house. But if I got nowhere to go, yeah, these niggas don't have nowhere to go. So when she starts insulting them and disrespecting them, yeah. he's just so f filled up with anger. This is what happens. And this is the situation that's going on with this Kiki shit. Yeah. You got to know when to leave. But when you don't have nowhere to go, you go to Twitter. Yeah, and bitch sure. about your yeah, bitch. Yeah. And that's and bitch about your bitch. I like that. Put that in a song. That I like real. That. Bitch about Time stamp bitch. that. I'm gonna tell you, but that's but that's motherfucking that. But that's the that's what happened when your girl the breadwinner. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's like right. the whole like John ja Morant shit. Right. His everybody like man, his father in his life. Why his father ain't doing that? Man, his father not the breadwinner. That that's little nigga feel entitled because he the one making all the motherfucking money. That's I'm, a fact. Hey, dad, I bought your house, dad. You sit down and shut sit up. And shut I, the fuck up. I know one thing. My son go to the motherfucking league. Look at here, little nigga. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you making that money. All that money, I, I was yeah, with you shooting yeah, in the gym. Yeah, nigga, I'm going to your shit in. You ain't paying for none of these trainers, nigga. All that money is mine. Fuck you. Do you okay, you. so look, boom. So you got kids, right? Mm -hmm. You talked about it. Do you want the whole traditional, I mean, you know, the the, the blended family thing? Like, how do you see it for you? You getting I mean, older? Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's all right. You in the club every night. <laughs> no woman in the world is going to trust you. I mean, let's just keep it real. Barely. You know what I'm saying? This, you know this nightlife shit, what it produced. Yeah, yeah. The women, come on. They want to either be in the club with you, and they mm -hmm. could be right there in the booth with you. Mm -hmm. They still go, they go, oh, you, you fucking with that bitch over there. That bitch smiling. She's smiling because this is her fucking song. Mm -hmm. She not smiling because I'm hitting her. That's a fact. But, the, I mean, as far as it, my, in my situation, it got to be a blended family because yeah. I'm not with my kids. Yeah. Mothers, you know what I'm saying? So we, I'm auto- a baby dad, off yeah. The trip, you know what I'm saying. Are you a good baby father, or you one of them hating baby fathers? So I, I don't give. Cause a I hate fuck. a hating baby father. First of all, I hate a hating baby father. <laughs> I still got a, I, I still got a date baby yeah, mothers. Right, right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, so right. the fuck, like, I, and I don't want to dip nigga right. too. I, right. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I don't know how my, so I, my daughter's mother, she's in a relationship. And I'm pretty sure that nigga fuck with me because I don't cause that nigga no problems. That nigga motherfucking, I, that nigga, I, I'm waiting for the day they get married. I done had niggas call me as a man. All yeah, I ain't got time for that shit. First of all, we we had what we had. We not together no more. Y'all together. That ain't my problem. All I care about is my kids. I had a nigga come take the TV out the wall while we was in there watching. Oh, yeah. No, nah, I ain't on no goofy He said, y'all ain't going to be watching my TV. 
I mean, but how? But here's my question: How fresh was it, or how new was it? I don't it? know. Oh, yeah, okay. See, you know, see, I've been breaking. I've been broken. A lot of these women gonna no tell fact. you it been it been months. It been mm. a day. Mm. They gonna tell you anything to fuck. Yeah, I guess. But I mean, at the end of the day, you I can still be together. I'm still fuck. So you ain't got that's true. To that's true. But see, I've I've dealt with that. Like, okay, I see that when you are dealing with married women or women that got niggas, they ain't tell you all the fucked up shit about these niggas, right? Mm-hmm. So they can fuck it because they feel like well, Floyd a good nigga. So they gonna tell me he fucked up. He this and that. I'm gonna fuck him then. But then, but, but then it's fucked up because then you see him on TikTok and, and Instagram later. They making tacos with him. He a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He don't know. She he eating the pussy. He has no idea. <laughs> he eating the pussy. <laughs> no, he got no idea. His wife is who she is. Right. Yeah, I be feeling sorry. Smacking your dick on the forehead, forehead in the back there of her car. His, his, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nah. I mean. You giving her all of that shit. All of that, she spit coming down her face, and then she f- mother of the year tonight on Instagram. Yeah. That shit crazy. To you me. gotta, you gotta pick them right. You gotta. Wait, pick okay, them so right. how do you pick them? What's your, what's your, uh, what's your metric? Honestly, I don't really got a metric. I just, I meet you, and then I kind of like, you know, we, was this, you was on the show. We was talking about, you know, I can do my Carfax, right? You know what right, I'm saying? Right, like right. I say, and I'm, you're not gonna always get a Carfax on every woman because yeah. every woman don't know everybody. You know, she might be but, from Nebraska. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like you know, I just, you could just tell, like. Their whole demean, like just conversations. You know what I'm saying? If you be like, man, I don't be liking them women, cause I be tricking women. I be saying little shit just to see how they react. <laughs> man, I don't like when a nigga, oh, I, I, I be like, I don't like when these bitches go on Instagram and be talking about some cash at me. What's wrong with that? Oh, why niggas can't cash? And they be like, oh, okay. Shot beta man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And I be like, oh, okay, sure. Oh, this so who you, you are, right? Exactly. Oh, so you, you kind of like get to know their mindset yeah. by just picking their brain by just general conversation. Facts. So that's kind of, like I said, I, I, if that's the case, I guess that's my method yeah. by just picking their brain and just, you could just tell by how a woman move their morals and their standards. You know what I'm saying? From traveling, from traveling, because mm-hmm. I, I got my idea, but from traveling, and, I, and, and I'm a bit of a traveler, uh, where would you say had the best quality of women Best quality of women, and that's a trick. That's really a trick question because you got different places got different w- reasons. Yeah, for, for sure. Different answers for different reasons. Um, like DC, in my opinion, has the best. Yeah. Average, and I and I don't say average disrespectfully. I yeah. mean like just a regular. She just got a regular job. This and mm-hmm. that. The, the 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 quality of women in DC in the DMV area. This just they don't do nothing. They got a little job at the post office. <laughs> a fucking amazing. But they're right. But they, you know, <laughs> they're rat. They up Jasper's. Yeah, I'm trying to give so y'all the, love. It, look, he love nah, and it's cool. So first of all, I'm t- all I date is black women. That's so it. it is what it is. And at the end of the day, every woman I dated is from here. I ain't never right, date right. nobody. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Like I've talked to women from okay, other places, yeah. but as far as relationship wise, yeah. every woman that I was in a relationship with is from, from here. DMV, okay, for sure. So, um, but yeah. So as far as like. I'm going to say, so I went to college in Atlanta. Yeah. I went okay. to college in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? And there's no right or wrong answer about this, but this is my preference. I spent my college like, years in Atlanta. Yeah, I was in Atlanta. That's right. I like, I, 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 I've been to Houston. I mean, we've been going to Houston. You know what I'm saying? We've been mm-hmm. Houston was a hidden gem our whole life. And, and they've been telling us in these rap songs to go to Houston. And That's we, a fact. And now we going and now we saying. It's amazing. Fuck, oh, Houston is great. The food, the but, women. I don't know, bro, because like... I'm a, I don't know. I like them country little jumps. But the thing about Houston like is that it. a lot of them from Houston are not from Houston. Houston. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of them from Cali, they not from Cali. You know what I'm saying? And but I be boy. liking the Cali girls because I like girls with that type of little surfboard, little swag, baggy pants, little Jordans, baggy t-shirt, but still like that Leah type shit. Like, like back, yeah. that Lauren London. Yeah, exactly. I ain't Lauren really, London. I ain't really, I don't be geeking. F- I'm not really a male that's really geeking for heels and makeup and all that shit. I like my... You know what I'm saying? I like my girl to wear my hoodie and still look bad. And look amazing. And, you know what I'm saying? So, and look, and I still can't wait to fuck with you. I'm going to tell you. So. I don't need 15 filters to want to fuck with you. I'm going to tell you. So I'm going <laughs> to answer the question. I'm going to say, I, I don't know. I love our women here. Yeah. And like I said, and I, and I love New York women because I, I don't know what it is about the way they talk. I be like, damn. They be like, yo, yo, you dead ass, show, You dead ass? I be like, damn, that was just sexy when you said that. But, Facts. But I ain't, and it's not even just because, like, just... I don't know. I love the ladies here, man. Like I said, Atlanta was cool. Houston's cool. LA is cool. But I must. I, I don't know if I had to pick. Like I honestly, I don't want to live nowhere but here. And then you, you know, know social saying? media has such a big impact on that shit too. For sure. How the women carry this. You know, I'm about to take a. So, you know, so I'm fasting right now. 
and, and I'm doing a detox this week, but I'm I'm including social media on that. Okay. Taking the social media fast. It's hard too because I got businesses. Yeah. And, I, and you I be use trying. it, so okay. it's hard. But uh, so I'm I'm real I'm real I'm real strict with myself. Shout out my girl C. Um, they 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 fasted too. They doing the detox too, and so it's like whenever you whenever you get the urge to, if you know it ain't business, hurry up, cut that shit off your phone for sure. Um, but you know I'm looking at that shit. I say, damn. I gotta promote my music, right? This is every whenever I'm dropping. You know, I'm dropping once a month. Mm-hmm. I say, damn. Let me ask Meech, how do how do DJs now in 2023 find discover their new music? Okay, so what I personally do, is it Instagram? Some nigga posting talking about follow me, stream me. Yeah, TikTok does it a lot because TikTok will make a song from back in the day, yeah, be a hit, or TikTok will make a mix. Uh, like that, that Yeet jump, no, 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 side, that Mariah Curry jump, mm-hmm. they just made that shit up, and that jump, I play that in the club, niggas is going crazy, roll it, roll it, roll it, they doing all that shit, so yeah. for real, honestly, so what I personally do, what I do is, I got my album music set up, and what I do is, I go to new releases, because Friday is usually drop day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I Drop go, day ain't the same as it. Nah, it's not. It's not. But at the end of the day, I still go on it because I catch a sneaky yeah. or, you know, yeah, early little now and then. Like I said, you know, the main niggas, you, people going to send all oh, future drop. Travis drop, Drake drop, you know, we know them dates. Yeah. But as far as like, I be catching my little sneaky shit on that new release drop type. I say they try to find ways to fill time without social media and you go to the music. Mm-hmm. And so, look, this how, did you see the shit with East, e, what's his name? ESTG? Yeah, ESTG. Or East Street G. ESTG. And I'm from DC, so we, 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 we. Oh, it's ESTG. You know, you know, ESTG. DMV when we hear ESC, we think East Street, East Street bangers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm Shout from out Berlin, to Red Zone. So, well, I'm from Maryland, so when I seen ESTG, I, I, went to I knew, too, it, too, I knew I mean, what it was. You know, I was in the PG County streets. You yeah. know, shout out to everybody. But <laughs> I still, you know, East Street bangers. You could be uh, in Bowie and hear that shit, nigga. Wherever yeah. you from? Now that's a fact. But the so did you see the interview? He walked out on the um, on the um, boy uh, bootleg calf. Shout out to bootleg calf. Uh, come on the show, Bootleg Kev, and talk about how each EST walked out on you. But see, he asked him questions okay. about his football career, though. Okay. Oh, wasn't you a linebacker? Wasn't you this and that? So EST, he like, man, what the fuck this got to do with my new album coming out? So this is why I'm asking you, how do niggas promote music? Okay. Because it used to be the put on. Everybody needed the co-sign now. Now, yeah. I don't know. You said Friday, but it used to be Mondays. Mm-hmm. Then it turned to a Thursdays or some shit right now. It's Fridays. Yeah, so as far as like- TikTok is how you feel. Yeah, TikTok. Uh, Damn, I'm fucked so, there. Social media. Nah, you're not really, because you just, you got to make it. So, if you make a song and somebody make a dance to it and it go crazy, everybody's in my Prime music. example. Then in the club, around. Mm, that motherfucking boom. Ain't nobody, nobody never heard of Shorty that's ever. True, that's but true, soon that's as, true. But as soon as one nigga danced to his music and it went viral and everybody doing a dance to it, his streams went crazy. That's why they was like, oh, he he done spanked 300, 3 million view, 300 streams and all that. Everybody's like, nigga, you better thank Junebug. Because Junebug started that shit. Because it's like, just like everybody got a podcast. Mm-hmm. Everybody got a fucking podcast. Yeah, everybody's a rapper. Everybody's a rapper. Everybody got a boutique. Everybody got everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's selling weed. Everybody's hats. a DJ. Everybody's a DJ. <laughs> People that don't know how to DJ. <laughs> right, you know, for real, you know what I'm saying? They just got a playlist. Yeah. And they get up there, they start dancing while the playlist playing. Do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? For real shit. So it's all about selling yourself now. For sure. Because no matter whether you're good or bad, if you can sell yourself, mm-hmm. people will buy into it. It used to be the cosign, though. Boom, perfect example. The white girl got the podcast, right? Really good podcast. I don't know her name. I'm not here to stamp her. Not here to shout her out, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, Drake do the interview with her. What it did, Ryan? Like 11, 12 million in a week? Mm. That interview Drake did with the white girl? Elliot Wilson got... Nah, but look. It's down. The video down. Okay. She took it down. Elliot Wilson got on Drake. Everybody got on Drake. Man, you doing this pop. But it's the cosign. Okay. It's the fucking cosign. She signed to WEM management. Drake signed to WEM. Whatever the fuck it is, right? Mm-hmm. But they make it seem like, oh, she just came out of nowhere. Uh, so now look what Drake just did. He, just, he co-signed the girl Sexy Red. Mm. <laughs> so now everybody. Well, that's why he kissing her all on the cheek. Oh, yeah, I knew that was some. Pl- See, when I seen that shit, I was like, this shit ain't real, bro. Because I ain't no disrespect to Sexy Red, but she is not that attractive to me. So but, they, I, but, 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 I was just talking to my man. Ryan, shout out to Ryan. They say, uh... Sexy Red bringing the regular bitch. My bad, lady. Well, no. I don't think the good upstanding women going to care about me calling Sexy Red a bitch. 
I mean, <laughs> I'm out of town, thugging with my friends. My I booty said, old brown. What the fuck? Hey. But they said she bringing back the regular motherfuckers. Like she doing it. You know, she not. Uh, what you mean? She not she lotto. Back the regular. She not lotto. She not. You know, she don't have these big this and big that. Oh, and okay. You saying just regular, just way. a skinny woman, no BBL. She's just around, just a regular, regular, gotcha. you know what I'm saying? Okay. Junk, you know what I mean? Your cousin and them. I mean, but if you that's the case, Glorilla was doing that. Yeah. Before Sexy Red. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Glorilla ain't got no BBL. She started that wave. Oh, the Coil, Coil what's her name? Coil Ray? So first of all, Ice Spice is, to me, I don't think she got a BBL. Who, Ice Spice? Yeah, or Megan the Stallion from for if you want to be technical. Yeah, I don't think so even. Yeah, Megan, Ice Spice, uh, Glorilla and, and Sexy Red, they, you know, they they little two pick jumps, but they I, and I ain't gonna hold you, Glorilla been looking good lately, by the way. But, but so um, that, I ain't really attracted impact, to Sexy Red. But do that popularity and this and that, do that impact which you if you will play them? Like if you don't really care for sexy red music, but you so, know she the hottest thing on TikTok and Instagram. So let's go back to the DJ shit. Okay. So this how this shit work. I got music I like. Yeah. I got music the crowd like. Yeah. My job is to make sure the crowd is happy the entire time I'm there. Every little now and then, I might try to, you know, sneak a song in and I like. And sometimes I trash it too. I'm like, let yeah. me try this song. Cause this little Travis Scott songs I like cranking. Let me see if they fucking with it. Yeah, give but it then, like then. and then they be like, okay, they ain't really fucking with it. Okay, I go throw something else on. But so like that's the problem for real. The problem is that the music that we may like. The, or the music that I may like, that I yeah. think is a banger, the club not gonna fuck with it, especially when they don't know you. Until it's popular. Like, so, whoom, I remember 2008, mm -hmm. I'm at the TCB at the, at the what's, what's it called back then? Um, the Tunnel, whatever, mm -hmm. DC Tunnel. The Tunnel. And it's a big show. And they play, um, throw some D's on that bitch. Okay. Nobody budged. <laughs> right? They're like, what the fuck is this? For real. You're right. A, t a month later, mm -hmm. it's the biggest song in the world. Yep. Gucci Man or whoever was it. Yep. Those of the, and the whole crowd going crazy, yeah, that's nigga. Just, that's how it be, because like I said, Same I, went to, song. I went to college in Atlanta. Yeah. So swag surfing, when I was in college, that was the era of swag surfing. Swag surfing was not out up here yet. So I wasn't a DJ at that time, but I guarantee you, if I came back home from college and I played swag surfing in the club, niggas would look at me like I was motherfucking yeah. tired. And to this day, in 2023, swag surfing is still a fucking banger. You play that shit at weddings, bar mitzvahs, every fucking thing. Yeah. But so it's like they niggas, we I don't know if it's just here because I don't really DJ in other cities, but it's when you we, go other niggas, places. Niggas fuck with what they fuck with. When you go other places, I remember when I was um, in Atlanta. <clears throat> that's when I started doing these events called smoking sections, right? Mm -hmm. So I stole it from Jamie Foxx. If you if you if you study these people, and I'm a study a uh, student rather of uh, of of just the game woke nigga of everything though, right? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Of though, everything. So like, if I watch one interview from Jamie Foxx, I've been watched thirty interviews. So I know every mannerism. I know every story he gonna tell. Okay. So he always tell these stories about how he discovered Kanye West and these niggas because he used to do these these little events at his house. Okay. Let everybody come to the house and. He would just be showcasing the artist that nobody knew. Okay. And at the end of the night, they'd come on the joint perform, and everybody like, oh, okay, that's Drake or whatever. So I stole this shit. Okay. So I started doing these events, 420 bass, this and that. You come in, you get free pre rolls, this and that, and everybody's high as hell, but the music is sub subliminally, subconsciously playing in the background. The DJ playing all the Floyd music. You might not even know it's my shit. Okay. He gonna throw some Future there, some Wayne, some whatever else. But he gonna keep playing my shit. So now Got you. my voice becomes normalized to you. At first, it's like, who is this? Mm -hmm. But now you hear it, it's blending in with everything else. Okay. So I started doing that for other artists too. And I'm looking at how they doing Jamie Foxx now, you know? Cause cool. The put on shit, that's what we came up doing. But now they don't really matter. The co-sign, it don't matter no more. Mm -hmm. But look at what they doing, Jamie Foxx. The nigga was dead for a month. <laughs> Two months. That shit was a scam. Pray for Jamie. Pray, you think it was a scam? No, nah, it wasn't a scam. It was more so I don't like know, I, as soon no, as he came alive, they started showing them commercials for that dog movie he got with Will Ferrell. Uh, or that, or was it, or was it the, Tyrone <laughs> the Tyrone closure? <laughs> I'm like, God damn! But you know, they was waiting to see if Jamie was going to die. Yeah. So my they thing, so what, so what was told up. to me was that he wasn't even there when they said he was there. He was already at home. Yeah, he was at home. Yeah, he was at home. They like, oh, Jamie on the bed resting. Jamie in the house kicking it. 
He just staying he off. He wasn't kicking him, but yeah. Hell I mean, yeah. I'm saying, but they was like he was back to normal. Like he was good. Like I guess the nigga was sick. But then from what I heard, like I said, I don't, I don't really be into that shit too much. But niggas was like niggas trying to kill him. You know what I'm saying? That's how. He oh, you talking about the conspiracy? Right, the conspiracy, the right. freak shit. Yeah, exactly. That. Freak and who shit. knows if it's real or not? Because you know, we'll a lot know. of that shit do be going on in Hollywood. But like you say, as soon as he came out the coma, they advertising movies and shit. Mm -hmm. So I say, damn, he come out the coma. And niggas ain't even happy for two seconds before they telling them to apologize to the Jews. <laughs> Have you seen this shit? Nah. Coming out the coma to apologize to the Jews is fucked up. You know? Yeah, for sure. Is it crazy? But what the fuck is he apologizing to the Jews Because he for? said they tried to kill Jesus. Hmm. What you think they'd do to you or some shit? But that's what we been saying that in the black community. Oh, he said that when he came back. He said that on his Instagram story, like a little motivational post. Like they uh, killed Jesus. You know, they, okay. what they, they, he not saying you kill Jesus, you fucker. Yeah, yeah. That's cause y'all niggas know y'all kill Jesus. That's for sure. Fuck, that's, that's a fuck, fact. That's a fuck. Oh no, yeah. man. Nah, that nigga. So did he apologize? Yeah, he came um oh, getting educated on this and blah, blah, blah. Fuck that, Jamie. Come on, man. You know, you know who I okay. And we happy to see Jamie back on his feet. Let me nah, just say that. Nah, for sure, for sure. I love Jamie Foxx. But you know who I seen stand on all all man time with this shit? Who? Neo. Hmm. So you got kids. Yes. Let me ask you. So Jess Hilarious come out. Okay. So this, so look, this was the topic. This was the hot topic last week, right? Mm -hmm. Jess Hilarious come out. And so we got a lot of little people feedback on this one. She say, you know, I don't know if you saw, she, she, she get into it about the male trans basically saying that they, you know, women, women that were born women. It's so fucked up. We don't even know what to say. Yeah, I'm supposed I, I, to say cis women. I'm no, women, women. Okay. And by women, I mean you was born with a pussy. For sure. Okay. Vagina. That's, I ain't gonna hold you. That's how the fuck I. Lately. And that's it. I don't do with this whole world shit. Yeah, I'm gonna man. keep it straight. And that's not you, no disrespect. Yeah, for I, sure. For sure. Look, one of the 15 letters in that acronym, I'm sure y'all got. So you don't need women. Right? So for the women, listen, they got LGBTQ, URS, T, U, V. And I know you got a D, brother. Somewhere in there, you got a letter, nigga, so you don't need the woman. Because I don't remember LGBTW in that motherfucker. So you chose to be what you are. For sure. You the T. Yeah, for sure. So now, Just Hilarious come out and say, as women, somebody got to stand up for the women. Right. Because Meaning women you, you saw the, the backlash, the, uh, my girl, what's my girl's name? I can't remember the charges to my mind. She won the award and she said, you know, it feel good to be a, 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 a natural woman. Oh. She quoting Aretha Franklin, okay. and the trans got mad at her. Right, right. I remember that. I don't you know can't the say I'm a natural saying. woman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember what that. What the blood clot? So now... <laughs> blood clot. <laughs> so now, Jess Hilarious took a stand. Okay. They bashed her for it. I don't like it. Watch this. So Neo is on um, the Russian nigga. I'm not going to say his name on here. The Russian. Uh, Glad TV. Shout out, oh. shout out to uh, 3 Six Mafia. You on Glad, Glad TV. I ah, fuck that nigga. So, What's wrong with Glad? Man, I mean, we talk a, about he's that. He's a vulture, nigga. Okay. Every 85% of niggas do interviews with him go to jail. Ah. Free Boosie. Uh, so look. Dang. You know, Boosie him, locked up? Not no more. Oh, okay. And went right back to doing the Vlad interview. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Like, well, you don't see this nigga is DEA. You need to talk. So, <laughs> So what the fuck was I talking about, uh, Glad? Oh, so Neo was getting interviewed. Okay, on on Glad. On Glad. Glad TV. I think I can't remember who was interviewing, but she asked him about the whole situation with the Jess Hilarious, whatever. He said, as a father, he don't think it's right for them to be promoting all of these different alternative lifestyles to kids. For sure. Making asking kids to choose sexuality, gender. He like if his child decide. He want to be gay or this, that, and third. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. For sure. But I'm not going to promote to a six-year-old sexuality and this and that. Yeah. And people got mad at Neo. Okay. <laughs> and Neo came out and did an interview, and we will put the clip up here, right here somewhere. But Neo come out and do the interview, like, basically, like, um, go fuck yourself. Right, right, right. As he should. He like, man, if y'all want to cancel me, I guess y'all done here in Neo, because that's it. Nigga, I got money. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. I'm straight. <laughs> I'm straight. No, Hold on, I fact, got to find a clip. What you feel about that? I got to find so, a clip. So how I personally feel, I'm with him. I'm with Just Hilarious. Like, and, and they probably going, I don't know. I don't know. They probably going to hate me after I say what the fuck I say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I give a fuck, but I don't give a fuck because at the end of the day, I don't make no money off none of y'all niggas. So who cares? But right. um, I'm with him because at the end of the day, bro, like all she, if 
if you're a woman, you're a woman. If you're a man, you're a man. I ain't going to hold you, bro. If you are a man, like prime example, Dwayne Wade daughter. He, I call him Dwayne Wade's son. When I was watching the Hall of Fame joke the other day, I said, oh, shit, Dwayne Wade's son <laughs> up there. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't call him whatever the fuck they call him. I don't call him a girl. I don't call him her. I don't do none of that because at the end of the day, he's still a fucking little boy at the end right. of the day. Okay, if he wants to be identified as a woman, cool. And I even had to, I had to, I had to deal with some shit like this as a parent. What you mean? My daughter was at motherfucking dance. Mm -hmm. Uh, gymnastics, and this was probably my daughter's ten now. This it's is a scary probably, world to be a parent. This is probably two years ago. She was eight. Okay, we had <laughs> dance. It's all girls, but it's a little boy there. A little the boy there. He got a haircut, purple hair. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, and my daughter. You know, I forgot the little boy name, and even if what I did know his name, I wouldn't say it on here. Right. But I'm gonna just say the little boy name is uh, Mike. is Jennifer. Okay. That's oh, what he go oh. by. He go by Jennifer. So they, she, so my daughter thought he was a girl. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when I was like, I seen him, I was like, and first of all, my my her mother seen him first. So she told me, she was like, why is it a little boy in the class mm -hmm. dressed like a little girl? And, hey, and she, hey, and she, hey, yo. Yeah, and my daughter named Genesis, they was like, Jen think that's a girl. And I was like, I was like, as a father, I got to tell her the truth. Mm -hmm. So I sat with my daughter, you know, and I'm, her mother did too as well, you know, and I let her know. I'm like, hey, you know, you know, Jennifer is a boy, right? Mm. And she's like, oh, no, Jennifer's a girl. And I'm like, no, Jennifer is a boy. But if you wish to be called Jennifer, respect the wishes, call him Jennifer. You know what I'm saying? But if Jennifer go to the bathroom, we ain't going to the bathroom with Jennifer. You know what I'm saying? We go on our own time. You know what, what I mean? do you tell your kids in some shit like this? Like, that's right what I told my kid, kid, nigga. Shit. But no, nah, that's what this is this is the conversation I'm having with my daughter. Yeah. Do this, this shit scare you as a father? Hell fucking yeah, because I'm like, damn, is this is what the fuck we about to deal with? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't really deal with that shit. We ain't deal with no gender neutral bathrooms and shit like that. So like I said, I'm not a fan of none of this gay shit that they got going on. I'm not gay. And I still say the the I ain't gonna do this on your show because I ain't gonna disrespect your show, but I still say the F word. I still say it to this day. I say day. all the time certain things is fag and shit, but that don't okay, mean I'm well, talking say about, less. but I'm not necessarily, I'm not I, talking about just, gay. But I, I do, say but I do. If a nigga's gay, I'd be like, oh, that nigga's a faggot. And, and at the end of the day, yeah. I don't, that's just what it is. You gotta say faggy, I think that's a little. And that's, I say both. Cause at the end of the day, I type it on Instagram. I'd be like, I could say, you could do, you could eat a glizzy. Yeah. And I post you and say, this nigga Floyd a faggy. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Instagram gonna take my shit down. They definitely and are. I'm, and I'm, and I'm but like. But you can say, but watch this. They not gonna take it down for you saying this nigga. Yeah, for sure. And that's my point. Bomb. That's my point. Why the fuck are we, so I was, that's why I was getting to, I be hating you sometimes because you be, you already <laughs> did what I'm trying to get <laughs> in. Bad, I be trying to walk bad. these niggas. I mean, walk them down. Nah, you did. Nah, you, nah it's cool with. though. It's cool. Cause like I said, that's what you do. But nah, like for real, like, but they don't get mad when we say the nigga. I, I can say nigga, 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 nigga. My my Instagram could be nigga two times, and nobody gives a fuck. And what's crazy? My DJ was, name could be DJ nigga, but don't nobody give a fuck. But we, when I say faggot, everybody got a problem. And we got they love. And on. we got love for all the different communities, right? But when the when the guy get killed dancing in the street, right? When the guy get killed dancing in the street, they say, "Oh, they're trying to violate his rights to yeah. dance." <laughs> Like, like the nigga who killed him saying, "This you faggot ass nigga, you keep dancing. <laughs> this is it for you, nigga. Come on, man. Yeah, see. Did you ask the guy? Yeah, yeah, How do you yeah. know? Meanwhile, when a black guy get killed, when 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 when, when just a head of a second, whoever dies, mm -hmm. y'all not, come on, y'all not in no marches for us. Yeah, I treat faggot like nigga. I call yeah. straight guys faggots. Yeah. yeah. There's no harm. You know what I'm saying? And don't get it twisted. If I had a, if I was cool with somebody and they gay, you know what I'm saying? Because first of all, I'm not a homophobe. I don't got no problem with gay guys. As yeah. long as you ain't flirting with me, we cool, brother. But motherfucking, but if I call it, I you call- You feel a way if somebody was flirting with you? Absolutely. <laughs> I feel a fucking certain way because now you disrespecting me because at the end, first of all, I don't- Disrespecting me. You disrespecting the shit out of me because I don't play like that. You know what I'm saying? So now, because now I don't have any- What's, What would you consider- <laughs> I don't have I don't have any I don't have any gay male friends. What would you consider flirting from? <laughs> I mean, just just the just I don't know, nigga, touching you, looking at you. I don't touching know. You you was I mean, like far as like touching your legs. Touching you was past flirting. Okay, cool. A nigga look at you like. Oh, I'd be like, man, nigga, man, go ahead, mo. Like a hey, nigga, so no gay shit. Nigga, pick a box up and be like. Go ahead, bro. You can't pick that box up. You can't handle that. He be like, mm, I, I, I know what I can handle. Oh, no. You say that to me, then you got to see me, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Cuz now you, you set yourself up by. by I eating. don't disagree, but I was just giving an example. Leave that nigga just, alone. Yeah, I ain't going to hold you. That's <laughs> for sure. But yeah, no, I ain't going to say it. I ain't, I ain't, like I said, I, I know some gay guys and they cool. 
you know, all respect to them. Man, I got gay Do family you... and all that. Right, and it's what's, cool. What's but at the end of the day, I, I, you ain't going to like that. You going to because I said faggy if in I call, my story? And I don't call damn. women bitches for real, like to their face. You said bitch but, 15, okay. No, nah, I said to their face. But if a, That's if my a, thing. No, nah, for sure. But if a woman say, nigga, if I be like, bitch, they be like, Meech, don't play like that. Don't call me a bitch. I respect it. So if a gay guy says, Meech, I'm not cool with that fag. I don't word, know how I feel and about I, that. I respect, no, at the end of the day, I'm going to respect you at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, now, if you say, Meech, my name is Shaquisha, you better call me. I'm going to call you Jonathan. If I met yeah. you in high school and you was John and now you turned into Shaquisha, you still John to me. Damn, that's tough. Yeah, that's fine. Because you a boy, that's Damon. Tough. You are a boy, son. Damon. I'm not, no. I seen a nigga. I'm not calling you her. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not, not calling, calling I'm you. never calling a man her. I'm going to call are, you who you are. Exactly. I don't give a fuck if you cut your dick off, bro. What's you, good, you, cuz? I'm going to give you some shit like that. What's good, cuz? Because at the end of the day, man. nigga, you go swim with the women, you going to smoke their ass. Yeah, no Just like if you go hoop with them. Jawana, man. Them up. I'm looking at all this shit. I say, damn. They got Jamie to apologize. Neo didn't apologize. Mm-hmm. I think we should just all do what Trump doing, yeah. What he doing? Say fuck all of this shit. <clears throat> this nigga got four indictments. The nigga just came with the news and said the DA is fucking the YSL niggas. This is what Trump said. He ain't say YSL by now. He said this is the same prosecutor that's there was this, they got the gang indictment, but she was messing with the head of the gang. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Trump's a wild nigga. Mm, intriguing. I've been saying he was wild. I told you that shit when you. I told you that, that nigga motherfucking. I mean, buried, these motherfuckers he buried his wife on his fucking backyard and called yeah. it a gravesite so he had to pay taxes, nigga. He's Just been a wild nigga. Imagine if Trump apologized. Hey, do you do you think any of these indictments are going to get him uh, uh, jail time, or is this all for the show? It's for the show because at the end of the day. Who the fuck in here not voting for him next time he go up there? I'm not voting for that motherfucker. Who you voting for? You voting for Biden again? I don't know, but not a nigga that put black and brown people in cages because he sent me ten thousand dollars. <laughs> no, see, I didn't forget because I was feel doing. like the world and got see first. See, I vote, but I feel like uh, and not to judge nobody in, but like niggas I said, ain't I just voting. Feel like that too, and I feel like this is this gonna be the year when niggas don't vote. For but sure. I, but the thing is, I feel like, I, but I've talked to a lot of people and I feel like they've been so brainwashed because they so fucked up at Biden that they just gonna fuck with Trump. But Biden did pretty good. Did he? Yeah. What did he, he do? He got a lot of legislation passed. I mean, you in, you of, more into the, that, and, but he get mad when I bring him on the show for political <laughs> shit. Because this motherfucker know. know what the fuck I mean, going on. I don't know what Biden did. Tell he, me. He's a geriatric and he definitely don't need to be our president, but a lot of shit got passed through. Motherfucker 107. A lot of shit did get passed through. Now, he got to do some things on the criminal justice side to, okay. to right his wrongs. I mean, Biden, the one who got a lot of that shit started with the, with that, with the crack epidemic and the crack law. So he got to change a lot of that. But What's the crack law? Uh, I can't, don't give me the, the, the measurement, but basically, Whoa. you could get court pause, super pause. Motherfucker just sitting on no, Super the pause. Damn, not the measurement. You're taking a break on that. That's crazy. <laughs> the measurements is crazy. But like, so like, what you get caught for... With the coke compared to what you get caught for, like if you got a little bit of crack, got you. You gonna get way more time than if you got a more amount of coke. Okay. All right, that's the easiest way I could explain it. Understood. The crack loss, and so Biden is the one. You know, he got a lot of that shit, uh, like it was. So yeah, he got some shit to fix, but he ain't really been as bad as he as people think he was. I never, I never look at a nigga like Trump and and just. Be so happy because he gave me a check. Now I do wish I would have got some of that PPE shit more, but that's it. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it. You think so? You don't think he going to go to jail, huh? You say I don't think he going to go. Don't think he going to jail. Fuck no, nigga's not going to jail. Speaking He's, of Ricos, because he got a Trump. Rico. He got a Rico. But everybody getting a Rico. So let me ask. Hold you on, hold on. If Trump, first of all, for what's been the charge in Georgia is power, a Rico. I ain't know what power was, but once I started watching power and I seen niggas get Rico, you get Rico, you're done. The charge, the charge in Georgia is a Rico. Huh. Him, Giuliani, uh, all them niggas is in it, and they in this time. See, the, all the other so just break it down, lamest. A lot of the other charges are real obscure charges, right? Oh, tax fraud, this and that. That shit in Georgia. It's specific people they tried to they tried to muscle into uh, turning the results of that fucking election, like uh, uh, one lady and her daughter and all that. So it's specific people that actually were victims of this shit, and it's a paper trail a fucking mile long. 
a mile long, that's going to be the one. Because if I get one of y'all, I get all of y'all. That Rico is vicious. <laughs> right. Everybody catch a Rico. So, look, you a DJ. Mm-hmm. Fuck DJ got to do a bit. Because all Rico. these young artists think that they got to kill a million niggas and rap about gotta it. Got to get in with that Rico. Right? So, y'all can play their music. That's the album that motherfucking Drake didn't promote Meek on. And Meek wasn't fucking with him when he made the Rico. The Rico. Song, y'all DJs and the bloggers... Have huge response and the videographers. Okay. DJs, bloggers, videographers. What about the rappers? They doing what y'all do, what y'all allow. We'll be allowed. Y'all the ones that's okay, you gonna play the song that's oh, it's the hot one in the street. <laughs> All right. You not in uh 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 name one place you DJ at. Uh stop smacking. Stop smacking. You not at stop smacking playing J. Cole Crooked Smile, yeah. I know I can be what I wanna be by Nas. You not playing that shit. Mm-hmm. You playing, mm-hmm. my, I'm out of town, my pussy pink, my booty round, this and that. Mm-hmm. That's what you playing. Absolutely. You playing, I'm going to kill a million of y'all niggas up from this. That's what you playing. That's what you playing. Digging that pussy. That's what you playing. So when these young artists go in the studio, mm-hmm. they not saying, let me rap about my emotions, you know. Mm-hmm. They like, I killed the hundred niggas and I kill your mother and I'm smoking my homies and I'm smoking the ops and this and that. Fool, I play a song every night and all he say is body yada yada ba ba. That's yada, one yada. song. No, but name I can name. A, I can name the songs you play before and I'm after. I'm trying that. to strike shit. It's first of all, I'm George, trying to strike shit. He not trying to kill nobody. I'm trying to strike book, shit. Book, book, digging that pussy. Book, book. I'm out of town, thugging my rounds. None of these songs are violent. All of these songs they all about sound bitches. very violent. That, that's what book, violent book, to the pussy. Book, book. Digging that pussy. Sounds like somebody's getting shot. Yeah, it sounds like somebody pussy getting shot up because I'm a digging that pussy. <laughs> Ain't none of these niggas is killing nobody. So I don't want to hear like nigga, oh, we only playing. Everybody's catching the Rico's violence. trying to keep it. And that's cool. Lil Dirk, all these niggas about to go to jail. That's cool, but guess what? Lil Dirk don't get played that much in the club. Damn. He get, Lil Dirk probably Not got. Even all my, why y'all play all my life? Oh, no, we played that. I play that. I play that. Went, at the, when, the, when the lights come on. Nah, nah, I'm playing. <laughs> See, you don't need, you're not even giving songs like that, my girl. Malcolm and Malcolm and DJ, y'all niggas don't play no positive fuck with that shit song, in the clubs, bro. People man. like that song. People like all y'all my life. Y'all play some shit and then say, be safe, get home, y'all. Hellcats and Track Calls. That's uh, amazing crazy, shit. What's it? Crazy Story 2.0. Um, Come a, on, young. Come on, that's all gangster shit. Oh my shit. God, what happened to Virgil? That's all gangster shit. That's not, oh my God, what happened to that, Come on, bro. Y'all like, niggas is making my, my point. point is, no, my point is, Lil Durk don't get spun that much. Is what I'm saying. Lil Durk ain't really that. He so why got, these so why are these rappers taking these penitentiary chances and criminal? They ain't got so- shit to do with getting your shit played. Because first of these half of these little niggas don't even want their song played in the club. They don't even give a fuck. Who don't give a fuck? So that era, that's. That's, you that's speaking on the young niggas. Shit. The young niggas don't give a fuck about their shit getting paid. So that's paid. the bloggers in the you bring a young. I guarantee you, you bring a young nigga on this motherfucking show and be like, yeah, nigga, you know, I'm, I'm going to bring you on my show, put you on. He's going to bring 50 little niggas in here, and he's going to smoke shit, this man. motherfucker out, and he's going to be like, yeah, nigga. You're going to be like, yeah, young So what about your music? It's good. We ain't going to really talk it's too cool. much about the music. It's tight. Like, I know they don't want. They want to talk about the music. They want to talk not, about some other shit. Exactly, because them niggas don't give a fuck. That's their lifestyle, bro. They just rapping to do it because it's cool. They robbing the doors cool, and they think that's a way for them to get a quick little buck. And they're nice. like, okay. And they also want it's it's another way for them to go viral too. So okay. is the music influencing the culture, or the culture influencing the music? Which way you think? Is it is it the fact that okay, the gangster shit is happening in real life, and we going in the studio and rapping about it, or we're going in the studio rapping about gangster shit? And the kids is everybody else as they listen to us. Look at John Morant. Nigga worth a billion dollars. Listen, NBA young boy, can't help but pull a pistol out. But that ain't got nothing to do with music. That's he because, ain't shot no, first of all, as a, a jump shot in his whole cool. life. And exactly. So as a black kid growing up in a suburb ass neighborhood, we our whole <laughs> life, all the niggas that wasn't grow up, that didn't grow up in the hood, all the Waldorf niggas wanted to be gangsters. <laughs> was, am I lying or am I not? That's right. All the Clinton niggas wanted to be gangsters. Small and this world. ain't no disrespect to none of the Waldorf and Clinton niggas, because but at the end of the day, if you got a problem, see me, whatever. But at the end of the day, all them niggas wanted to be from Fallsville. They wanted to be from fucking Oxen Hill. They wanted to be from Capitol Heights. Right. They wanted to be from the creek. All them niggas wanted to be from that. To the zoo. So, again, that ain't got shit to do with rap music. That's just a little nigga who grew up in a privileged-ass home who wanted to be a fucking gangster. It ain't got shit to do with music. He just think that being a gangster is just the cool thing. He a dumb young So the nigga. music don't influence him? I don't think so. Come on, man. And I make music. And that's cool. And you play but, music. Uh, yeah, but I, at the end so of the day... So you don't see the people... Sh- watch I don't this. think you, don't they, watch I don't the think people you being the outside club, about crackheads got nothing to do with but music. But you don't watch the people in the club hold demeanor change based on what you play? 
You don't know that you control their energy and everything about them? Yeah, but guess what? If I, but I could, if guess, you play all raw wave, the whole club be that joint looking sad as shit. Yeah, but guess what? You Fine. go to a whole shit. fucking raw wave concert, that joint packed out at Capital One. Your That's favorite true. rapper That's not true. even doing Capital One. That's true. That's a fact. Your favorite rapper not even <laughs> doing Capital fact. One. That's a fact. I was shocked Moneybag was just that, that motherfucker. I said Moneybag at Capital One. Because some of our- Because I ain't never seen Gucci Man. Yeah, our and, biggest and, rapper's and, still and, at Fillmore, so exactly. I mean- Exactly. I ain't never seen Lil Wayne at Capital One our unless biggest. he was on a Drake tour. <laughs> hey, so let's be real. They still have so Fillmore. at the end of the day, these Please motherfuckers, stop, your environment ain't got shit to do with Please the music. <laughs> If I'm growing, if I grow up in Fallsville and this crackhead's outside and I see dope niggas getting money, I don't give a fuck about what the fuck young boy t- rapping about. This nigga out here in front of me getting money. It's all to cover up the UFOs, though. Look, here you go. <laughs> woke, woke nigga. Brother Wokeness. Brother Wokeness. It's all to cover up the UFOs, cuz. Brother Wokeness. <laughs> you don't care about the UFOs even? We go I don't even know nothing about, about, about no motherfucking UFOs. UFOs. Nah, nah, nah. Look. Man, you don't no, got no bathroom breaks, bro. Nah, we about to close it out right uh-huh. now. <laughs> <laughs> we about to close it out right pause, now. Hey, pause right quick. I'll be right back. Intermission. Roman swipes. We with Roman swipes. I wish. Coming soon. Coming soon. We're going to have all them sponsorships. Uh, give me your last thoughts, high thoughts, man. Give me your last thoughts. Last thoughts, high thoughts. Tell them where they could buy you all that shit. Give me this shit. Give me this I was going to pass it to you, but you got endorsements and shit. Because you definitely don't call me the host. Stop smacking with you on no other venue. Last thought. Like, it ain't nothing for you to say, hey, you know, Lloyd is the rapper, you know. He done put out 15 albums this year. That's, you know what I'm saying? Floyd should really I just hit the J, you, you know, you know. That's my man, shout out to my bad Floyd. I got to do know. shameless I plugs with every guest okay, that comes Okay, let me know when you're done, God damn. I'm going to be quiet. You ready? Malcolm back there, don't call me to do no hosting gigs. I swear to God. You know what I mean? <laughs> you want to do hosting? Nah, you know, uh, I do walk through, but it won't make a difference. Like, we got we to make, listen, the reality is... And I'm about to say, with the music shit, I'm going to be real with you. Mm-hmm. The music shit, and it's for everybody. And it's my hot thoughts. Just do your thing, man. You know, when I look at history, and I'm a history guy. Okay. Most of these artists that we were, Picasso, Van Gogh, these niggas never sold a painting in their life. In their life. Now we say they the greatest that ever picked up a paintbrush. <laughs> so who, we, we can't live for right now. When you look up at the star, right? A lot of these stars are four billion years, which you see in the air. Mm-hmm. Four billion years ago. It's not even right now. It don't even exist. Mm. When you look in the sky, it's the past. It's time traveling. Yeah. Right? So we looking for our relevance right now and our significance right now and our everything right now. Maybe it ain't for me right now. Maybe somebody's going to watch this 100 years from now mm. and learn shit from me that I'm talking right now in 2023. And in the year 2000, stamp it. But, but listen, I'm just saying a long fucking time from now, 263, two, whatever, 93, 2093. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this nigga? Right, right, right. The best nigga that ever did this shit, nigga. Maybe. Or he who the fuck it. is it? He's some shit. Either way, <laughs> they gonna be watching me. Hey, look, hey, get your flowers. They tuning in. Them. Fuck it. You got that view. I don't so just do like what you view. do and do it good. Do it for the love. Make sure your intentions is pure. That's my advice to anybody doing anything. Don't worry about that instant gratification. Yeah, nah, let me get my hot thoughts, man. Again, uh, shout out to my brother Floyd for definitely having me on. Shout out to me, DJ Meet You Two Times. Shout out to the We Say They Say podcast, Instagram. We Say They Say podcast, all one word. <laughs> my Instagram, DJ Meet You Two Times, DJ Mitri, M E T R I 2 X, two times. Shout out to my brother Ryan. Shout out to the Culture Media Network. My man Brandon in this motherfucker. My hot thought. Shit, shout That's out to it. you for remembering all that after you just stopped and went to the bathroom. That's I mean, tight. I didn't know. I thought we was now, that was it tight. Off. Like that shit never happened. You it know never happened. Saying? But you know, it never happened. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm high as shit right now. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, <laughs> the J. Hey, hey, hey. It got that. So we hey. gotta do that again, man. Hello, so, Governor. Hit the J. Hello. And shout out to Tri State Tricombs and High Thoughts Cannabis Company for sponsoring this episode of uh, the High Thoughts Show. Look, I almost forgot the name of the day. Hey, what you got there now? Work with a plant for drink, got there <laughs> Put a carburetor on that for you. Come on, man. <laughs> but nah, for real, like I was saying to the, Cedric the to the young niggas, to the old niggas, niggas 35 and up, get you some money, man. Yeah. Get you some money. Like, because it's a lot, of, I meet a lot of women. And they be, you know, I'm dating this nigga, this nigga broke, da 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 da. And I just, I, oh, I meet niggas and they still living at home type shit. And ain't nothing wrong with living at home if you try and get your shit together. But get some money, man. Get some money for your kids. You know, yeah. white people, no disrespect to them. 
because it's not disrespectful, but they 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 grow up in money because their parents already got money to the side for them, man. Get yeah. some pot of gold, yeah. put some money to the side for your kids. When your kid graduate college, already have 50,000 already ready for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, just <clears throat> get some money. You want to go travel, get some money. You want to take girls out, get some money. Like, just get money. If you went on that corner for 10 years and you ain't getting no money, do something else, Over bro. with. Like, go get a job, bro. Like, everything ain't for everybody. You trapping, you <laughs> successful, you big meats, do your thing, bro. You going to go to jail, though, by any one day. Definitely going to jail. You know what I'm saying? Because don't none of that shit last. But get money, man. Like, we, we two, as black people... Instead of killing each other and hating on each other, niggas just need to eat, bro. Put your man on, put your folks on, put your kids on, take care of your fucking kids because you ain't had no daddy. So why would you do that to them? But I'm going to be here all day. I'm going to stop. I'm going to shut the fuck up. Nah, that's good. That's good. Now, nah, this is good. This is good. This was like some. Uh, Man, I ain't even know you took the glasses off. You cut your eyebrows like you bow wow? No, no, no. I'm just squaring my eyes like I'm light skinned. No, no, your eyebrows are cut. No, somebody threw me through some glass when I was younger. Oh, that's for life. That trauma, yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. I got you, buddy. Hey, listen, again, shout out to our sponsors. Uh, I'm not going to say you a fourth time. Uh, shout out to the whole team in here. Shout out to uh, WEG Studios. We live. Uh, shout out to my guest, DJ Mitri, two times. Meow, 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 meow. My dog from the We Say. They Say. Podcast. You and this is Floyd 118 <laughs> presents High Thoughts on the um what's it called? The black what's it, what we, the culture of media. Wow. What the fuck? This is a joke, right? No, I'm high. Oh my it's fucking. About black culture. Hey, I don't know if y'all can see me right culture now. Culture media. <laughs> this nigga's burnt. Shout out to uh culture. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with y'all. Hey, <laughs> you are now watching Culture Media Network, yeah, bam, 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 Floyd World. Each and every week, it's your boy D. Floyd. I see you next week. Each so, and every week, but you can't say Wednesday. This nigga's burnt. <laughs> well, 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 Rory's too. 